Greetings, William Dollars of the Mars here. Welcome back to a short uh, little vlog here. <sighs> my uh, my son Henry broke his leg, and it's just above the kneecap, and it's one of the weight supporting bones and um we were told that he has to stay off of it while it's in its in in the cast um so our little four-year-old is now immobile with the cast on and he's not allowed to put any weight or pressure on it as for how it happened I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't have the full story. Appar apparently, we, we went to my mother's yesterday to have some fun times because of the Memorial Day and whatnot. Not Memorial, Labor. Sorry, Labor. My brain is scrambled, guys. <clears throat> and they have a trampoline there. Okay, and I told my son he can't go outside or go anywhere near that trampoline without adult supervision. So apparently, three of the older kids got him on that trampoline. And the next thing I know, one of them came in saying, Henry's hurt. And I go out and find him screaming and crying on the trampoline. On top of the trampoline. This is a trampoline that has a, a mesh net, by the way. So you would have thought it would be safe. But even so, I still wanted an adult super, supervision there. But they went on the trampoline without adult supervision. So I don't even have the full story. So, I go outside, I check out the situation, he, he's screaming and crying about his, his right leg, it, how it hurts, it hurts. So, I'm like, okay. I <clears throat> picked him up, carried him inside, and we do some preliminary tests on him, and then we decided, it would, well, we, uh, we decided to go home. On the trip home, we we hope, which is an hour and 30 minutes, we hoped it would get better, but it didn't. We tried to get him to put some weight on it, and he just collapsed to the ground screaming and crying. So I picked him up. I put him in his car seat. I, I had uh, my wife take Marva in to the house. And... Um, I took him to the ER, and um, he has a broken bone, uh, the, the bone that's just above the kneecap, one of the bigger bones, and it's a weight supporting bone. Best case scenario, he'll heal up fine with the cast and no no further anything needed. Worst case scenario is he might have to go to surgery and get a pin <clears throat> a pin put in and uh, it could affect the how he walks for the rest of his life or something like that. I'm shooting for best case scenario here and I'm going to hope and pray that the cast he has on heals him. And especially if we make sure he stays off it. Now, the surgeon wants to see him in a week to see if anything further is ne <clears throat> needed. So, me and my wife are going to start the long, painful process of 
trying to get him to stay off his leg. <clears throat> and um, my wife told me that I still needed to go to work. And she'll take care of both him and Marva. I told her I was I was ready to take the whole week off of work. And she's like, no, we can't do that. Guys, <clears throat> if you have a trampoline at your house, please make sure an adult is present if you're having a gathering near that trampoline. <clears throat> the Because kids being kids, they're going to sneak around and get on the trampoline even though you said no. With uh, even though you said no without an adult supervising it, the re the reason why I'm telling you all got telling you guys this is um number one to give you guys an update, and number two notify you guys that. I'm going to be taking the entirety of this week off from YouTube stuff and whatnot. Re recordings and live streams. <clears throat> Unless my son starts feeling better, I have to help take care of him and get him past this horrible, horrible night. I could never imagine my kid breaking his bone. I never got a broken bone, neither has as Alexis or Cinder. I never would have imagined this. This is this is terrible. This is god awful terrible. So I'm not gonna be recording anything Wednesday, which means there's gonna be no videos sun uh, Saturday and Sunday. As for the live streams, I don't know yet. I'm leaning toward no, but we'll have to see how Henry feels and how well his healing is going. <clears throat> um... We have this cot that we set up in one of our spare bedrooms, and I slept on the, on the guest bed um, with him on the cot. And um, he woke up at 1 a.m. crying because of the because it hurt because it hurt. So I had to get up and give him some pain meds at 1 a.m. I've been giving him a steady dose of pain meds all day today. Anyway, that's the story. I gotta get going. I gotta go. In the middle of all this, we're trying to clean the house. We're trying to get Henry set up for school. We're trying to. We're trying to clean the house. We have somewhere to go to this the, this coming up weekend. And Henry's gonna have to be in a <clears throat> in a stroller. Because he's not allowed to put any pressure on it. Alright. I'll catch you guys later. I gotta go. Um, maybe I'll do a smaller update next week. I don't know. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do anything next week either. Um, we'll have to see. I just want to get my son healed and past this whole terribleness. Never in a million years would I have ever imagined him getting a broken bone. 
I've never had a broken bone, and I'm 28. That's 28 years. Bye, guys.